Hey folks, Jang here again from ultimatercom A little bit of a tip for how to improve your stock shocks, plastic bodied shocks on the Axial Wraith. Now, as I, I briefly mentioned in my review video on the Axial Wraith, I didn't like the stock uh, shocks, the way they felt. They had a lot of stiction in them and what stiction means. I'm not sure if that's a full on real word, but it actually is some, a word that uh, a lot of people use it refers to a, a in, an event of friction that occurs momentarily where it'll feel like it's actually getting stuck and then it'll free up as you push in and then it'll feel like it gets stuck again and ends up having that sort of jerky motion as you try to apply a constant force in or out and I, I just chalked that up to poor construction poor choice of materials of uh, the, the especially the body itself uh, being too close in texture uh, to the, the, the compound that was used for the pistons. So it was actually just chemically sticking to each other. But tonight I was going through and uh, changing out the springs and the oil on all four shocks. And on the shocks that felt bad, a couple of the shocks actually felt okay, but a couple of them did not and one of them was really 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 bad and it's this one here but this one here is now nice and smooth so and that's without doing any upgrades that's without you know dropping a hundred bucks on aluminum because you know you gotta go aluminum anything that's not aluminum sucks well no not the case I found out what was wrong with these stock shocks that you can fix for free it turns out the Pistons. I'm just going to go ahead and pull one out here as an example. They they are they're all manufactured on these parts sprues like this, and you can see the one that's actually missing, or the two that are actually missing from this set of extras uh, that are in included with the kit. Uh, somebody actually physically snaps these off, and you can see here I did it in a very sloppy manner, and there's a, just a little bit of flashing that's left over here on the side. And that's exactly what I was seeing inside of these pre-assembled shocks. There's a little bit of flashing on the side. So that's just wedging the poor piston up against the edge with a lot of force up against the edge of the inside edge of the cylinder. So take those out. It's, it's very simple. I'm, I'm not gonna go ahead and, and disassemble this whole thing, but take the shock out of the truck. You know, it's, it's two bolts or actually two screws one of them is a bolt with a nut behind it uh, the top one's just a screw just unscrew the cap it just screws right off and when you open this up there will be a bladder take that off and then you'll see a nut just unscrew that nut and you'll be able to take out the piston uh, right from the top it's just captured in no eclipse no no worries there it's very simple and easy uh, pull this out clean it off a little bit so you don't get silicone oil over everything and then just use a very sharp exacto knife and trim off that little bit of flashing that's really shouldn't have been there in the first place uh, trim it off make sure that it's nice and flush uh, if anything you can go a little bit farther a little bit deeper uh, but the, the preferred uh, cut would be just to make it flush and, and turn the whole thing into just a, a an even circle all the way around uh, even shape once you have that trimmed up like that little you can see how little plastic actually came off of it just put that back in it's going to be washer first if that didn't come up then piston then washer just the same way that it came out put the nut on top you just use your little t-wrench just stick it in there hold from this other end just screw it in very very simple very very easy and you'll end up with this nice stock plastic bodied shock that is very nice and smooth Without having to spend 100 bucks on some crazy uh, aluminum ones that you really don't need uh, these shocks do feel pretty nice and soft and they have these nice uh, uh, titanium nitride coated shafts which are pretty heavy duty they're a little bit stronger than chrome coated ones they are smoother and they actually hold their surface longer so they're going to remain nice and smooth as they move inside in and out of the the bottom cartridge the, the o-rings down here so that's it for that tip if you've got a lot of stiction in your stock axial wraith shocks 
don't pull out the credit card unless you just want to spend money just to spend money just pull out a, sc a screwdriver or a couple of allen uh, drivers pull out your little t-wrench that's included with the kit and uh, an exacto knife that's all that you need fix that up S uh, smooth out the edge of each, each of your pistons wherever you feel that on your sh on your shocks and you'll have a much smoother running vehicle that's it thank you very much for watching hope that was useful for you and i hope to see you on the friendly forums at ultimatercom bye for now